Hello, I'm Martino Yerian and I am Ampet Software CEO and Founder. Today I will show you our newest feature, the Ampet 5 Assistant. So, in the latest years, Ampet 5 has been growing quite much and now we have more than 100 filters. How is the user supposed to know the best tool to use in every case? But there are other ideas and issues. How can we help you? to enforce your agency SOPs for specific needs and workflows. How to easily help uh, your uh, new colleagues, which are not maybe an experts to uh, for NCV announcement or didn't follow our training to start this new job, a new specialty. How can you automate repetitive and boring tasks? And how to limit human error with repeatable and documented practices? So this is first solution which Microsoft tried a few years back with, uh, let's say, not the happiest results. Others are more traditional wizards which are quite annoying as normally they present you this model window where you can just push a button and you cannot do anything else. So we developed something new called the Assistant and it's, the concept is very easy. You may remember uh, game books, which were popular in the 80s, where you could uh, choose your own path into a book, into an adventure, and go from page to page, deciding uh, how the story would uh, unfold. This is something very similar to what we've done with the system. Uh, we provide some custom uh, some predefined workflow but you can customize everything or create your own the system as you see in a moment uh, is not obtrusive you can use it instead of your normal workflow or together or you can uh, you're not limited in any case so if you installed uh, the latest version of Amped 5 from scratch the assistant should be already visible in the uh, main window. If you are upgrading from an earlier version, should be disabled, so you can just enable here from the menu view. And here, you can choose uh, uh, from a list one of the uh, tasks that you want to accomplish. For example, enhancing a face from a video. And we are uh, shown this text. Please select the video you want to load and we click on video. We select the video and a new video loader is uh, loaded. So here we can uh, uh, view this video and you can notice that when there is motion you see the typical combine artifacts caused by an interlace source. And of course the assistant asks us if we want to deinterlace the video, since it's a pretty common step, and it must be done at the beginning if needed. So a new deinterlace filter is added, and the default settings work pretty well. At this point, you see that there is this person, which is not very visible because of the uh, contrast, which is attenuated by the uh, filtering effect of the glass. And uh, here, the assistant asks, do you want to adjust the image brightness and color? Uh, we can click on Easy Equalization, for example, and you see the result, it's really much better. In this case, to improve uh, the image and reduce the noise, we can apply frame averaging, but uh, the subject is moving, so we need to select only a few frames in the video as it's, it's suggested. So we start from this frame to this frame, for example. Now the video is a bit shaky, so we want to stabilize. Of course we do. We select the selection. Now it's steady, and now we can apply frame averaging. Do you want to apply optical deblurring or unsharp masking? Yes, let's try to boost a bit more the local contrast and we can save the output image. Better on uncompressed format, bitmap for example, 
and looks like your job is finished. Well done, it's coffee time. Not for us. Let's look how a script is done. If you click here, you can edit the current script in the default text editor. And here you see the format. It's pretty easy. It's a simple text file. So on the first line, you see assistant version. This is uh, needed to ensure it will continue to work properly if we uh, update in the future the assistant engine with new features, for example. Anything else which starts with an hash, it's uh, a comment, so it will be ignored by the engine. And then every page of the script, uh, these are, this is the same text that you have seen uh, in the Amplified User Interface, every section is separated by uh, uh, an empty line. And then basically you can write wherever you want and uh, the text that you put into the square brackets, uh, when you click over, will create the filter that you put in the parentheses. So for example, I want to apply the blocking before the interlacing, for example. Here you can write uh, an optional label, which is needed only if you need to refer from other points here. So you can write, do you want to remove uh, blocking artifacts? So I can just put this into square brackets and write the name of the filter, the blocking. I save the script and when I go back here, I refresh the script. Okay, this is the first step that we already did, so I can just go to next. You see, do you want to remove blocking artifacts? And when I click, it adds the blocking. In this case, at the end, we can move at the beginning as usual. If you perform the steps sequentially, uh, of course, it will add be added before the interlace, if it's needed. What else we have here? Uh, another common thing is the fact that probably 90% of the time you use uh, uh, always the same, uh, maybe 15, 20 filters. So here we have put in the favorite filter script all the most commonly used filters. And you can customize this as well. So again, let's put uh, this, uh, the blocking. And we can remove, for example, if we don't use very often Instagram localization, we, we can remove it. Uh, we can also save the file with a different name. So save as uh, Martino's favorite filters. Okay, yes, replace it. And you see it here, Martino's favorite filters with the blocking and without uh, Instagram localization. And also here, when you click, you can add a filter, a crop, and levels, and all the usual stuff. Of course, if you want to add the filters in the, which is not in the script, uh, you can just go back here as usual and add uh, anything else, like here, let's put an exposure. Okay, pretty useless in this case, but just to explain how it is working. Then there are some uh, um, other scripts for various situations, enhancing a license plate from a video, from a single image, but uh, something which is very important in my opinion are these two, general workflow, cheat sheet and guided. So let's make them bigger. The general workflow will guide you step by step in uh, the correct sequence of using all Amplify filters. 
So you see here, you can select the type of file to load. If you have a single image, use video loader. If you have a video file, use video loader. And so on. So you can inspect the file format, yes or no. Calculating the hash code. And then, basically, this is a very in-depth guide in uh, applying the proper filters according to the situation and the issue. And it helps you basically triage the file, especially the beginning. If you look into the actual script here, you will see there is a lot of stuff and a lot of conceptual work went into this. If uh, you think this does not cover specific cases, of course you can modify it, but in general, once you get the hang of it, uh, this is a bit verbose, but still you can refer it when you need it to. Uh, what may be more useful in the day-to-day -day use is this one, the general workflow cheat sheet, which basically uh, does the same, but in a single page. So here you see uh, in a single page, again, as usual, you can click here and create the filters as you want. Uh, so here you see all the steps of filters in the proper sequence. So importing the file, doing the file analysis, restoration, selecting frames of interest, restore, enhance, analyze, and present the result. And saving the uh, final result either, either as an image or a sequence. And I think this is very important. Uh, in our training, we teach uh, the proper workflow. We don't apply filters randomly be just because the image looks better. We need to understand uh, what uh, the image generation model, how different effects has been introduced. And uh, so we need to correct them in the proper order as well. So. Thanks so for uh, watching this introduction. I hope you enjoy the assistant in the latest Amplify version. And uh, please feel free to send me your feedback. Uh, I'm sure you have already a lot of ideas how to use it and how to improve it and add new uh, powerful features. We sure have. Thank you.